what really prevents men from waking up men can wake up any moment any circumstance any situation can trigger off this process of awakening water falls from the picture a leaf dry leaf falls from the tree tossing and turning it settles on the ground something can happen and one can be awake the words the choice their modulation all creates thrills in the listener yet still it becomes difficult for waking up from the deep slumber it is because of the unconscious and this unconscious is certainly very pop very powerful and immense it encompasses your whole past from the very beginning all that has happened in the existence is part of your unconscious your unconscious collective unconscious and cosmic unconscious this constitutes immense or infinite long accumulated past but so is your super consciousness it is as long and as infinite as is your future you are just in the middle past is very powerful because it has already happened things have happened and they have left their memories in you they have left their marks on you the future is not so powerful because it has not happened as yet it is only a distant possibility the past is a reality it is history your unconscious is your history something has happened in your relation in your growing up as a child in the process of your conception or such memory is stored into your unconscious this is your history this is past your unconscious is your history and tremendously vast your super conscious which means awakening it is only a possibility one is immense history and the other is possibility and because of the effect of the past even when the opportunity comes you go on postponing and that is what your past manages to do you see a possibility of awakening but your mind your past comes in how can that be possible how can be man so selfish it goes on telling you the idea is good yes indeed one has to wake up you have to try for it but all these are ways of postponing the past goes on questioning how to wake up the idea appeals to you but how to wake up that how is really the way of postponing so when i say wake up something in your subconscious gets stirred and a thrill goes around goes through you when the words are spoken 
the articulation, the gaps between the words, the modulation, the voice control, all these is still something in you and creates a thrill. But the unconscious is a very thick wall. Certainly it cannot prevent you from waking. It can only postpone it for as long as it can. And that too depends on how deeply, how passionately you are listening to these words. And remember the distinction between these two words. Are you hearing me or listening to me? Nanak in his message of Japji pays tremendous importance of listening. Certain of his compositions are at risk to this process of listening. He speaks on the aspects of the mind. Nothing can be said about the speed of the mind. When he says it, he repents afterwards. Hearing is simple. Everybody who has ears can hear. But listening is something more than hearing. Listening means you are hearing without your mind coming in between. Normally it happens when someone speaks, a side by side and analysis continues within. Certain things appeal to you and all that appeals to you, you really listen and the rest you discard. Interpreting madly, giving colors of its own to what you have listened, bringing connotations, associations from your past, all that comes from the unconscious and mixes up with the process of hearing, so you do not really listen what is being said. It is said about one of the masters, he listened to half a line and his life was transformed. When I say wake up, I have one thing. If you hear it, it may have a different meaning, but if you listen to it, then you will have the same meaning as I have. Listening means putting the mind aside. So what is the difference? There is a vast difference between hearing and listening. In the process of listening, you are putting aside the mind. Listening means putting aside the mind. So what is being transferred, not the words? the energy field, what is being transferred to you goes directly into your heart and to your being. Only then perhaps you can wake up any moment. Any small thing can trigger it. It is unpredictable. One cannot say when. One cannot say what will help. I can only go on explaining in different ways to the meaning of waking that gathers around you. Then anything can trigger the process of waking up. People have become enlightened, awakened in strange ways. There is no casual relationship that Two people got awakened the same way. Lausi became enlightened when he was sitting under a tree and a dry leaf started falling from the tree. He was not 
listening to any discourse like you all listen you was just all alone sitting under a tree and a dry leaf started falling from the tree there was no wind so the leaf was falling very slowly like a feather and he simply watched it falling and as it rested on the ground something happened in lance which had nothing to do with the leaf leaf everybody sees leaf falling there was no wind blowing leaf came down slowly and slowly like a feather tossing and turning and as it settled on the ground something happened to lousy and he became enlightened rumi dance for 36 hours in that process he became aware of the unmoving center the wheel of your car moves but the axle on which the wheel is fixed remains without any movement now say simply saw the way the leaf fall it was an attitude of let go no effort to cling a little longer to the tree this is the seeing this is the vision of lause his own interpretation he saw the leaf coming down separated from the tree slowly and slowly tossing and turning without any effort without any resistance it is started coming down must have taken some time but deep within love say it was a long process it had been with the tree its whole life but not even a look back that i had been connected to this tree no hurry to reach anywhere there was tremendous let go that wherever the wind takes it that is okay there was a great trust all these things with the dropping of the dry leaf happened in lause from that very day lause was a totally different man let go was his way water free flowing without any resistance let go master can only do one thing he can go on spinning around you meanings of thousand kinds perhaps one of them may trigger the process many thing may have been happening around lause but this particular incident of the leaf falling from the tree slowly and slowly tossing and turning with the wind it was coming down there was a total let go total discontinuity with the past that from the time it was born it was connected to the tree it was getting its nourishment and being nurtured through the tree through the umbilical cord now that is no more all connections and relations have been severed the leaf does not know where it is going what is going to be its future it is just flowing a free flow total freedom no concern of the past no connection and no worry of the future perhaps this is what has triggered the process process
loves him. It depends on so many things that it is unpredictable. But howsoever big the unconscious may be, its value is nothing. Waking up even for a single moment has tremendous value. And remaining awakened, you have become an emperor in the existence. Waking up even for a single moment has tremendous value. And remaining awakened moment to moment under all circumstances and situations, you have become an emperor in the existence. You have nothing, yet still your gate is that of an emperor. To live unconsciously is to live just a beggar and to be to awake and live a life of awakening is the life of an emperor.